to, like we talked about earlier, we tend to say niggas ain't shit when we don't get our way. But we have to realize, like, we may like them and be attracted to them, but they might not like us because a man is going to do everything right for a woman that he wants to be with. Mm -hmm. And that's that. He might be the perfect guy for you. And then I'm like, okay, well, why can't he do that for me? Because, okay, he ain't like me. Okay. You just got to take that and just take it out. Take it out. Right, so. This is a very special episode, a very much needed episode, I feel like. Um, in this episode, we will be discussing Are All Men Trash? Before we get started, I will be introducing my beautiful panel, starting with Mia. So um, just state your name and your age. Hi guys, I'm Mia and I'm 22. Hi, I'm Mia and I'm 23. Hey, I'm Gabby and I'm 22. Hi, I'm Alyssa, and I'm 21. And I'm Ryan, and I'm 21. All right, y'all. So this is a very um, interesting topic. You guys have little note cards underneath your seats. So y'all gonna pick them up for me. And just write down what you think, or like write down one thing you think makes a man trash. Then when y'all done, crumple it up and just toss it in. Oh. Don't go too far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. First one. This. What makes a man trash? Lying. Not understanding. Inconsistency and dishonesty. Yeah. Being inconsistent of the relationship. Yeah. Inconsiderate. Of the other show. Okay, cool. And inconsistency again. Come on, so we can see. Inconsistency again. <laughs> and lack of consistency <laughs> and transparency. Can y'all like elaborate more on like inconsistency? What does that mean? Like inconsistency. Can you want to start it off? I would say like, so I'm a scenario person. So if we're in a relationship and Week one through three, you hit me up, good morning, tag to the night, like how's your day, this, that, and the third, but then week four comes around and you stop. Week five comes around and you stop. Then you start making excuses. And it's like, when you do stuff like that, it makes us think, like, what are you doing? Like, what's occupying your time? Because obviously, I'm not a priority. Y'all agree? I'm not a priority. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. That's what, and I think that's where we kind of like, oh, you ain't, you ain't shit. Kind of go off of the guy who said, like, you don't have to talk, like, every second of the day, but you can still have, like, your routine. And still know that like okay I'm here so, like like you said you don't have to speak like every second every hour but just like making your presence known making sure that like it's, like we're communicating efficiently like I'm a super like detail oriented person so I notice the little things like when things are out of routine or they change um, I start to overanalyze everything I overthink a lot and that's when stuff starts to go downhill so when you put me in that position it is kind of just like a downward spiral from there. Guys tend to, um, their actions and their words don't match up. And it's just very inconsistent. Like they'll say one thing and then do a complete, like the complete opposite. And it's, I've noticed a trend amongst a lot of guys that I've been involved with. So it's just like, they just don't know how to do what they say and say what they do. I get the whole dating scene and you're dating around trying to find who you want to be your number one. But when you're doing that, and you're being deceitful, and you're not letting these girls know, like, hey, I'm also talking to whoever, that's when it becomes like you're trash, because at this point, it's like, there's no honesty. You saying, like, establish those boundaries before, like, y'all get. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, like, when when does that conversation happen? Like, when does he get to a point where he's comfortable telling you, oh, by the way, I mess with it, so, and so, and so, you know what I'm saying? Like, when is a, like, when do y'all get to that point? What does that look like? As adults and the stage we're in in our lives, I feel like that should happen in the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
like what are your intentions because like at our age we aren't dating just like oh i'm about to be fucking him tomorrow like no i'm dating with reason mm -hmm. so that didn't even have like i'm not ready for a relationship like we can go out on dates but i'm not about to be doing girlfriend and boyfriend stuff with you us as females once again we catch feelings and then once we catch feelings, then we're wrong. And then we're looking at like, oh, you're doing the most. Like I told you, you know, you didn't tell me. You thought I knew, like you should've came out and be a grown man and say, I'm also talking, you don't even gotta drop names. Like I'm, I'm dating around. That's all you gotta say, as simple as that, so. Being that we fall back sometimes, you still get in those situations where you may have that conversation up front. You mess with a guy, hey, you know, I don't want a relationship, but y'all continue to mess around. <laughs> And then you fall into that point where, hey, you have the conversation. Hey, like, what are you doing? I told you, that, you know, I don't want a relationship. Mm -hmm. So at that point, like, even though you did have the conversation, you have to take responsibility because he told you what it was. Mm -hmm. But, you know, us being women and being emotional, like, sometimes we don't, we don't pay attention to that. We hear it, but it goes in one ear and right out the other. Us as humans, men and women, we only do stuff in retaliation. So obviously you're taking me out on nice days. You're doing, we've ended up doing everything that we said we wouldn't do, doing boyfriend and girlfriend things. That's why we end up falling for them and we continue. They hit us up, oh, I'm on my way. You wanna go out? Oh yeah, yeah. sure, I wanna go out. Like that's why, because you're doing, and I think they don't, they don't do it on purpose all the time. Yeah, they don't yeah. realize, they just think they're being gentlemen. But literally, you know, you're, you're pulling me in closer and closer. Mm -hmm. like, if you want to be friends, like you're not ready for a relationship, don't text me every day. Don't text me good morning. Oh, you look nice. Don't be in my DMs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, I mean, keep it on a friendly that. basis. Yeah, like, right. set that standard and yeah. be consistent with that. And that's when the consistency yeah. comes back in again. So, I have a problem with like, you know, women and men. Like, the women, like, you should know. Like, come on, like, it, it, isn't it obvious? Like, y'all, you acting like this is brand new. But the whole time, we like, I didn't know it was this. I could have sworn we was just, you know, he was with it, like we was just friends, you know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of like miscommunication and it's something like we have to get better at, just as a young generation in general, like communicating um, and, and setting those boundaries like off rip, you know? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is my talk show. Okay. So, so right. <laughs> you, I, I hear this a lot, we keep saying the young generation. Me personally, I only date older guys. Because yeah, that's just yeah, that's very so true. I've dated 25 and up and they act the same way. There is no way people unless you I can't say this because that's on I'm not even using my father base. Um <laughs> unless you're like you don't pick up on social cues, you know when a female is getting attached. Because we start texting you, you want to know your whereabouts, like you want to go out here, like you get in the good morning text, oh kissy face, I'm like on your pictures. Like you know, there's no way you don't know. And I feel like that's what we get upset because like you let me get this far and then like Magically, one day you just want to shut it down, but like it's not that easy because you let it get this far. And that's like with a parent and their child, you let them talk back for 18 plus years or 15 plus years. And when they turn 17, they start punching you back. And it's like, why are you doing, doing this? But it's because you let me do it for all these years. I thought that was right. I thought it was okay. So you said like everybody just needs to take responsibility. Like women need to take responsibility. Men need to take responsibility. Um, everybody needs to have good, we call it mental health and knowing what they deserve and what they don't deserve and just look deeper into themselves about the situations that they're in and the situations that they will go into. Mm -hmm. This episode is sponsored by Big Mind's Lemonade. Good taste, good time. Hit Big Mind up for the best tasting drinks on campus at Mind's Big on Instagram. I got a response to that. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> but no, like, accountability is, like, very big for me, too. Um, so, and I feel like a lot of the times as men, um, we let our our friends, like, our guy friends, mm -hmm. do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. and, and honestly, like, coming from a person who surrounds himself by kings, like, I, none of my friends, I feel like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like I try to, I try to keep myself around, like like real stand up solid. men. You know, what I'm saying? solid men who like are about something, who don't just say something and you know mean something else. Um, but a lot of a lot of people out there, like they they are not shit themselves. Like they're not, you know, they're pretty good guys. They they, they got friends who are doing this and that, with, with, you know, with a girl, and they're letting it happen. You're Um. But yeah, they're, they're letting it happen. Like, they're sitting there watching him cheat on her. They're sitting there 
they're watching him beat up on her and like call her out her name. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like as as men, we have to get to a point where we keep each other calm. I feel like what's really gonna like set up a new you know dimension to it if we as men keep each other kind of like our close friends. Like hey, like that won't cool what you just did. Like come on, like what's up with you? If you don't want to be with her, let you know what I'm saying. Let her know. Like be straight up with her. Be a man. It's hard. It's hard to be taught how to be a man when you're not raised by men. And that's just coming from personal experience. Like, it's, it's really hard to be a man and, and like, to, you know, raise up to be that that real stand-up solid guy when you don't have the, the role models around you. And if you do have role models around you, then they're not positive ones. They're ones who hate themselves. So it's just like, from like a young kid, you see an uncle and them like, around like, you know, hollering at girls, calling out their name, all this kind of stuff. And then it's just like, you don't have any positive models around you, so how do you expect me to know what it's like to treat someone with love and respect? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cool. Why do you think a lot of men hide, slash run away from, slash avoid situations that involve a deeper connection? I would say they do that either because one, they're not ready for it, two, they've never experienced that before, so I know that, I don't know if it's, I wouldn't say men in particular because women do it too, but people tend to run away from situations that they're not comfortable with or something that they're not used to or something they've not experienced before, so that's probably part of the reason why they do that. <laughs> it could be because of past experiences as well. Uh, if, it, if they're not familiar with it, they're scared of it. And a lot of guys our age have not actually been in an actual relationship with a woman before. They just messed with women. Like they never actually had a girlfriend or fell in love with anyone. So like once they start developing strong feelings for someone, it's scary to them. And confusing, they don't really know how to like conceptualize their feelings. So that's one thing I know, they, they run because they don't know how to stick around. <laughs> a lot of men just have issues with like expressing how they feel, especially in the black community, like black men just, it's kind of looked at kind of weird when they show how they really feel, so they keep it to themselves and then that's when, that's when things just kind of go low. Men, majority of the time, have also been raised that way. They've been raised from a young age, and particularly, you know, black men, where they, they have to be strong. They have to take care of their family. Masculinity is, is big in the African-American community. And so because of that, any man trying to be in a relationship with a woman, with a man, you know, whoever they decide to be in a relationship with, they are scared to show that because they've been brought up that way to, to hide it all their life. So when something unfamiliar comes in their life and they're feeling this little butterfly in their stomach or their heart or whatever you want to call it, they're like, oh shit, what the hell is it? It's something right here. Like, so what am I supposed to do? So they either, they shy away from it, they make mistakes, and then later on be like, damn, like she was the person. Or like you said, I've been in experiences where, you know, I've been with people where they're like, well, why are you doing this for me? And to me, that's just how, that's how I am. Mm -hmm. So like if I want to buy something, I'm going to do that. And they're like, you know, I've never had somebody mm -hmm. do that. And I'm like, well, sometimes, you know, change is good. Like, new, mm -hmm. new situations, new experiences, that's that's how you become the person that you're trying to become. Like, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's, okay. Like, it's, okay. Yeah. it's okay. You have to know someone's love language. Mm -hmm. So I feel as though when they do have those feelings, sometimes we, can, we tend to run them away because what I like, like I'm a gift giver, but I don't like receiving if that makes yeah. sense like I, i'm a worse affirmation like a touch person so me like once we're in a relationship i'm like oh let, let's go out here like i'll get you this and it's just like why are you doing all this for me and it kind of scares them like oh no nah, she's doing the most yeah but right. in all actuality i'm not like that's just me that's so really like that conversation needs yeah. to like be taken like it needs to take place because we have to know that because if you don't like gifts i'm not gonna give you gifts because that's gonna run away run you away like you're gonna just get so nervous because then you may feel obligated, like, oh, I have to get her something back. Like, you don't. That's just me out of the kindness of my heart. So I feel like that's where we kind of, like, lack on that part. And that's what kind of gets them tricked up. Because we already know they kind of, like, they scared. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like before you can even get to love language, like, you have to have some type of understanding of your own emotion. Like, if you don't have a basis of just, I know myself as a man, emotionally, then you can't really love someone properly, I feel like. And I feel like, like for, for a lot of men, especially black men, like 
getting in touch with your emotions is it's like an actual like learning process. Like I'm in the current state where I'm learning to be in touch with my like that's not something that I'm brought up with. Like y'all parents probably taught y'all, you know, as women, you know, as little girls, like it's okay to cry, like tell me how you feel. But as as men, no, nah, nah, like you, what you doing? Like why are you crying? Like get over it. You know what I'm saying? So that is that is that's always been there, and it's it's definitely a a learning process for us. Um, but still, like I don't think that's really an excuse for a lot of the behavior. But at the same time, y'all have to understand that for us, showing emotion isn't this thing where it's just like natural. It come natural to us. A lot of the times, we get emotions mixed up. We get we don't even know how to express our emotions as men, which is a problem. Um, but like I said, it's a learning process. So. I've dated the men who grew up with father figures in their lives, even if it was for maybe a couple of years, they know how to get in touch with those emotions. Whereas the men who, the man boys, who didn't grow up with their fathers in their lives, they don't know how to express at all. So I just feel like it's a learned thing. Like it just depends on where they came from, where they were raised. Mm -hmm. See, I've, kind of, I've kind of had an opposite of that. Like guys that I have, that have, had only their mother in there, you know, in their life, have been able to fully, sometimes overly, communicate. I've heard that before though. Yeah. Yes. That's a weird thing. It's, it's a yeah. true thing. That's like, weird. One of my exes, he, like, I don't know, I kind of got to the point, I'm like, whoa, like, I'm not used to this, like, how am I supposed to react to you, you know, saying that you love me constantly, like, oh, just, it was just overly sometimes and too, like, I, I'm a very emotional and sensitive person, but it had kind of sometimes, you know, it's just like, whoa, whoa how do I, yeah. well, what am I supposed to Like, you feel like you have to say something back. Yeah, it's just like, like, you don't even have the words. Yeah, it's just like, like whoa, like, sometimes mean, it's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. And I think, again, for a lot of women too, like when they when they have that man who is able to fully show his emotions, I posted something on, on, um, on Instagram the other day, uh, my story. Like I was, I was saying like like a scenario to where it's like you're on your, you're, you know, y'all it's y'all third date, whatever, and he talks about talking about his past and um, you know his his hard childhood, and he starts crying. And then for a lot of women, it's just like, what? why is why is he crying? Like, what's going on? And like it's not like a it's not like a like a ooh he crying. It's more of like an, I don't know what to do because y'all not used to. It's, it's a weird, like, y'all not used to seeing that. Mm -hmm. So men who are able to, to show it, you know, if y'all haven't really seen it before, it's like, how do I even respond? Like, y'all hitting like, like the group chat up, like, this girl, like, this is a cry, and Mama Jane, I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> it's like confusing to y'all. But I think, I think it's a level of maturity because like, it depends on, like I said, it depends on where you grow up, like on how you're gonna respond because I feel as though like y'all connecting, y'all should be able to pour back into each other. So regardless of what you learn, if you're mature, you should know how to react in that situation. Like, even if it's just like, oh, are you okay? Like, you know, you can always vent to me. Like, I may not have the words to say that, but I'm always here to listen. Like, it's simple stuff like that. And that comes with maturity. Whereas someone immature, they can be in a group chat like, girl, SOS. He's crying, like, I gotta go. Yeah, like, here, get me out of here. Yeah, so it just takes a wrong person. Like, to combat that, just being understanding, because we're all humans, we all have feelings, whether regardless we show it or not. Yeah. So, yeah. this is my personal take. <laughs> yeah, so, to wrap that like conversation up, it's just, men have to, first of all, realize that they have trouble getting to, like, it has to be like a realization thing, and then like, a, okay, I, what am I gonna do like, to fix it? Like, what am I gonna actively do? to try to really like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, like, if you have a man who can't show, who don't know how to show his emotions, like, it's like, oh my God. Like, that's just how it is. It's gonna be some type of like dysfunction, like, in some aspect, to where something like, man, this ain't working. Because that's like basic, like, basic stuff. That, you know what I'm saying? You have to get to a point where you realize and be understanding and be fixed as a man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This might be kind of random, but I feel like if guys don't know how to get their feelings out to another person, like try to just write it down. Like no one has to know if you have like a journal or journaling is very like, important. You don't have to tell anybody. It can be your own little secret if you're embarrassed about it, but you should still try it because then I would, like you're still getting it out yes. of your system. That's a good start. Writing um, <laughs> music that brings us to all these artists out here. Um, a lot of men 
especially I mean, I don't even say our generation, but like a lot of men have kind of, you know, their stories, their life, they have put into lyrics, which have made them, some of them are good rappers, some of them are not good rappers, but they're still getting that out of their system rather than trying to talk to another person. Probably doesn't work, but getting it out, it, it's relieving that stress from them and getting it off of, you know, their chest to the, to the point where like, you know, they, they feel better now that it's out of their system.